Are you ready for epic relationships, epic life? I hope you are, because that is cool, that's fun. So what is the definition of epic? How do you realize when you're really having a great life or you're just having an average life? Or how do you realize when your relationship is way awesome, cool, epic, or when it's not so cool? My answer to that is if life is progressing for you, then it's epic. If it's just kind of a flat line, then your epic is not really epic. It may be good. A lot of people saying, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good. How's, how's life treating you? Oh, good. <laughs> how's it going? I'm good. Everybody always says that. But what about being excellent? What about being great? What about having an epic life? So what that looks like, it's not a down life. This is this is, uh, that would be a down life, but an epic life is something that's progressing up. What is a good rate of exchange? Some people think, my life needs to be up here in order for it to be epic, but that doesn't happen. It doesn't happen like that. It actually needs to grow. So what can happen in your life to make it epic? And what's a good rate of change for that epicness? Those are questions I ask people, and I'm like, I don't know, I've never really thought about it. And I'm like, if you want to create it, you're going to need to think about it. So I say, if you can grow about 10% every three months, it'd be awesome if we could grow, I mean, think about it, 10% increase in a year, that's huge. That'd be awesome. And 10% a year is great. But if you can do it every three months, every 90 days, then... That's super epic, and that's what's really cool. So that's about 10%. And now what I like to do is not just continue with that. If I continued on that plane right there, I would end up about right here. That's pretty darn good at the end of a couple of years because that's about a three-month mark there. But what I like to do is increase even 10% more than the first increase and then another 10% more from the increase. And then, if it's possible, to continue on a 10% more. So that's what epic looks to me like. Instead of shooting over here for the star, I'm shooting, whoa, for the sun. I want to be super epic. That's what epic looks to me like. And if this is every three months, think about that. This period over here, that's only one year away. Your life has really changed in an epic way if you can continue to do that every three months. This means so much to people. They're thinking, oh, I'm stuck where I am. I am stuck here. I've been this way forever. Or maybe in my life, I was actually feeling like I was going downhill in my relationships. Things were not just stagnant. They were actually going downhill and getting worse until I was able to turn it around and get it going positive and being epic. I have a simple, fun story to tell you about this. I had a, a client who was complaining to me about all of the tragedies that were occurring in their life. In fact, it was really bad tragedies, really hard stuff. And I like, oh, we, we got to Focus on what you've got to be grateful for in life. How can you possibly be grateful for anything with all of this negative in your life? And I'm like, whoa, whoa, okay, that is the problem. The problem is, is that you have no way that that positive can get inside of your energy bubble because you're so negative that it could be coming to you, but you've blocked it out by the negative that's surrounding you in your life. They couldn't understand that. They don't understand that. And that's what we do at Empowerment Trainings is allow people to understand what they don't know and allow people to realize how they can change their heart and how they can change their mind so that they can create a positive energy bubble around them and create epic relationships and create epic results in their life. And um, so this, this individual, uh, we were able to help them understand that by changing a few things, that opened doors to change major things and blockades that you would think would never be broken. Or they were saying that 
they would never be able to be overcome, then doors were able to open. And who was keeping the doors closed? I mean, they were praying. They were saying, you know, I need to have these doors opened. And they were asking for all of these blessings, but the blessings couldn't even penetrate into their personal space because of the negative energy that was in there. So who was holding back? Was it their higher power that was holding back on these awesome blessings that they needed in their lives? Or was it their own negative bubble? And if you talk to people, most people will say, I am not negative, I'm super positive. But let me ask just a few questions that indicate whether or not you are positive or whether or not you still have some negative in your heart or in your mind. And these simple questions go like this. How often are you ticked off? How often are you annoyed? How often do you get frustrated or upset? And how often do those things rule your energy space? How often do you criticize the people that are closest to you? Do you enjoy the work that you do? I know everybody has to work and it's a good thing to actually work, but when you're at work, are you a slave to your work or are you a service to your work? Those are just simple questions. Simple, simple questions. And you can answer those questions honestly and it will help you know just how positive you are. And if there's any way that you can become more positive, then that allows those good blessings to come into your life that were always trying to get there before, but you were blocking them out. My name is Keith Allred. I'm a personal life coach, a mentor, a trainer, and an epic relationship consultant. I want you to know that it is possible to have an epic life, to have epic relationships. Give me a call and let me help you. Thank you so much.